You see, I was reading Genesis, book of Genesis. I was, I was meditating so much. So forgive me if I can capture the verses. So Genesis 50 verse 20 said, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for all good. You brought me to this position so I could save the lives of many people. When people plan evil for you, God will put good in it. And that's why God will always tell you, never return evil for evil. Because the evil that man has planned for you is the good he has planned for you too. Have you ever understood, have you ever learned something that no matter how the devil mess with your right life, at the end of the day, God will have victory. If the devil puts you into prostitution, it is not the will of God. But when God arrests you in that prostitution business, you will end up saving everyone in, in, in that same of business. If you are battling through masturbation, it is not the will of God. But when you go through it and God save you, you will save people. Look at me. I battled through masturbation. But now I have a book on masturbation. Are you saying it? I'm one person that should have entered and suffered through bitterness. Because I was rejected. But now I wrote the book on bitterness. Are you saying it? When the devil plan it for evil, God will make it for good. And whenever God uses, you see that thing you that, that your weakness that you are still battling with, wait, keep fighting it. When you survive, you become an author of the book like that. You are battling with loss, calm down. The grace of God will help you. You might be the one that will write the book on how to break out of lust. It is you are smoking you can't stop you are trying one day it will break and you'll be the one to write book that will save many people on how to stop smoking the devil will plan it for evil God plans it for good the experiences you are gathering and the pain you are gathering now is the reason why God can trust you with a mic and one day you hold the mic and stand and you don't you don't preach any Bible you only tell your story and the faithfulness of God in your life. And 10,000 people will stand up and give their life to Christ. I saw the woman that is an evangelist now. She was, she was into prostitution. I was listening to her testimony. When she was done telling her story, she's a white woman. When she was done telling her story about her prostitution life, she said, if you're here, you want to give your life to Christ, come out. Oh boy, see crowd. I say, what? The wounds you have now will be the mark of the victory and the challenges you have passed through. Don't remain in that sin. Find a way out. Breathe. Come out of that water and breathe. And be saved. That you are battling through an addiction does not mean that God does not love you. For the fact that you still want to come and mean that His presence is still with you. Never give up. Trials will come. Challenges will come. But at the end of the day, you will become victory. Am I teaching you? Are you learning? See, never leave God. Is all you have. 